You know, a lot of people try to move away from the person they were as a kid, but me? <laughs> Not so much. I don't like change, and that includes the fact that I don't like to change who I am. I kind of like who I am. A lot of this is thanks to the fact that I was blessed with such amazing parents, who, I think, raised me pretty well. I've talked a lot about me, Padre, since I started this channel, but I think I speak for everyone when I say there is not enough mom content on this channel. So I'm gonna change that. I think the reason why I zone out so much is because my mom shared with me a very handy trick when I was little. One day, my mom was driving around doing some errands. Of course, I was also along for the ride. As one would expect, I was so bored in that back seat just sitting there. And so I said, Mom, I'm bored. Well, just play a movie in your head. What movie? Make one up. That's possible? I think <laughs> From that point on, I was always zoned out in that back seat, making some movie in my head and matching it up to whatever song my mom was playing at the time. Oh yeah, by the way, the first real song I ever liked was none other than Four Minutes by Madonna. I would play it here and make a really cool scene out of it if YouTube would let me use copyrighted music for just a second! Dead gum TikTok can do it, why can't we- <clears throat> I'm okay. Another trait I picked up because of mom was her laugh. I don't know if it's genes, it's exposure, or what. All I know is that my laugh is very similar to my mom's. This wouldn't be such a big deal if my mom didn't laugh like- <laughs> Now, here's a video of me laughing. I know you can hear the resemblance. I have another pretty funny one from when I was a kid, too. I think this one is my mom at her absolute best. It was January 10th, 2011, and I was a little second grader sitting in the concourse of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. My favorite college football team, Auburn, was within a minute away from winning a national championship for the first time in 53 years. We were playing Oregon, who had never won a championship, ever. With the, game being with the game being tied, the tension in the air was thick. Honestly, I think that's quite an understatement. I was sitting at a table with my mom after recovering from crying over the stress, when all of a sudden, a fight broke out. The fight slowly began to shift closer to our table, so close that they slightly grazed the tabletop. I retreated under the table in fear, but my mom, who had had absolutely enough, stood up, arms extended, and went, DON'T TOUCH MY BABY! I was absolutely astonished with her bravery as security came up to arrest the angry men. When I came back into the game to see Auburn put the finishing touches on their title, I turned to dad and said, Mom just saved my life. Mom always knows what to do and she always knows what to say. Eight years later, when I was in the midst of an extremely dramatic breakup with Piper, I was crying like a baby in my bathroom. I will never forget mom coming up to the door and saying, You okay, sweetie? No, no, I'm not. You got any advice? Well, you just gotta feel all the feels. Now, whenever I'm freaking out or whatever, I think back to my mom telling me to feel all the feels. And to her credit, it worked! Eventually. I could not have asked for a better mom. She is the toughest, funniest, and most resilient person I know. She has been there for me at my worst, and she has defended me at my best. She is awesome, and I love her. I love you, mom. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.